yields to Ms. Hageman for five and a half minutes. Thank you. The First Amendment to the United States Constitution rests on the principle that no person or institution, including the government, has a monopoly on the truth and that viewpoint-based suppression of speech by the government is dangerous and may even spell the death of a constitutional republic. Under the First Amendment, the government has no power to restrict expression because of its message, its ideas, its subject matter, or its content. As the Supreme Court has explained, if there is any fixed star in our constitutional constellation, it is that no official, high or petty, can prescribe what shall be orthodox in politics, nationalism, religion, or other matters of opinion. Labeling speech, mis speech misinformation does not strip it of its First Amendment protection. That is so even if the speech is untrue, as some false statements are inevitable if there is to be an open and vigorous expression of views in public and private conversation. In refusing to carve out a First Amendment exception for false speech, the framers of our Constitution rec recognize the significant danger in making the government the ultimate arbiters of truth. And it is axiomatic in the words of the Supreme Court that the government may not induce, encourage, or promote private persons to accomplish what it constitutionally for is forbidden to accomplish. Secretary Mayorkas, it was reported in May that the DHS, through the Targeted Violence and Terrorism Prevention Grant Program, is funding groups targeting conservatives and equating them to domestic terrorists. Originally intended to combat foreign terrorist organizations' operations in the U.S., it has become yet another government tool weaponized against citizens to violate First Amendment protection affiliate, uh, protected affiliations and speech. One grant to the University of Dayton for a program titled Provence O hosted a seminar titled Extremism, Rhetoric, and Democratic Precarity. One of the speakers, a known Antifa member, as part of his presentation shared a pyramid of far-right radicalization, which likened the Republican Party to the, the Heritage Foundation, the American Conservative Union, Fox News, Breitbart News, the National Rifle Association, Prager University, Tea Party Patriots, the MAGA movement, and the, the, the pro-police Blue Lives Matter movement and the Christian Broadcasting Network as the first steps on path leading to Nazism and militant neo-Nazism, among other apologies. This is exactly what the postmaster is trying to do, Eagle Nick, to do to Eagle Nick, trying to stop my exercising of my First Amendment rights. This is Eagle Nick. Audits, I am Eagle Nick, and I'm out.